in the last two lecture videos, what we have done is we have examined and compared the outcomes under autarky and outcomes under free trade and outcomes under restricted trade because of tariffs on imports. In this lecture video, which is the last of the sequence, what we'll do is we'll examine other forms of trade restrictions, namely quotas and voluntary export restraints or VERs. Let us revisit the diagram that we are so familiar with. We have the typical supply curve. We have the demand curve. Wherever these two meet, we know this is equilibrium in autarky. And the price in autarky will be $3. Quantity demanded and supplied will be three units. And once this country decides to engage in foreign trade, when the world price for this product is $1, so this price becomes the relevant one for this economy. And at this price, the demand is five units, the supply is one unit, or the imports are four units. So this we already know, and we have examined the consequences of this in terms of employment, in terms of the benefits to different sections of the society and so on. Now last time we examined the consequences of having a tariff revenue which causes restricted trade. When we have free trade, the government decides to place an import quota and not tariff revenue on this economy. And what is an import quota? Import quota is how many physical units of the good that can be imported. For example, in this case, the government says you can import a maximum of two units of this good. Now, when the government says you can import only two units of this good, in terms of the diagram, you should remember what is imports. Imports is the difference between domestic demand and domestic supply. So when the government tells us to that we can import no more than two units of this good, what will this diagram look like? Let's look at that now. Here look at the following. At a price of two dollars per unit, what is the domestic supply? It is two units. How much is the domestic demand? It is four units. So how much is the import? It is Two units. So in a way, at a price like $2, the import quota that has been set by the government can be attained. And so what this diagram is telling us is the following. When the government imposes an import quota of two units into this country, the person who, who is allowed to import this product can sell the same product at $2 a piece to domestic consumers, and this will become the relevant price for domestic sellers as well. So what is happening here is when the government imposes an import quota of two units, the person who has the right to import this good can buy this product for $1 in the world market, but sell for $2 in the economy. Now, in a way, this diagram looks exactly the same as we had under tariff revenue with the same amount of imports when the government imposed $1 as tariff. Now, because of import quota, what is happening is there is a difference between domestic and world prices, but this difference of $1 per unit is being cornered by the person who has the right to import and sell this product in the country. So once again, look at this rectangle. This is the price difference. And so $1 represents in a way the profit or the rent to the importer. And how many units are being imported? It is two units. Or in other words, <clears throat> 
this rectangle which we had earlier called tariff revenue when the government imposed a tax on imports now when we have quotas this could be called quota rent and who gets it the person who has the permission to import this product from other countries at what price at one dollar and sell it to us at a higher price like two dollars so now in place of the government getting the tariff revenue now some business person receives a quota rent and so when we have import quotas just remember the diagram looks exactly the same as we had under tariff revenue the only difference is the tariff revenue was received by the government in this case the quota rent is received by the business person who has the exclusive right to import this product so once again we look at a diagram that we are familiar with ea is the equilibrium in autarky we know how much will be the price in autarky how much will be the quantity traded and then this country decides to import this product in and buy it in the world market and this it decides to do at one dollar so we have free trade at this world price and how much is being imported by this country it is four units now we have looked at quotas where the importing nation decides to physically limit the amount of imports into this country another way the same thing could happen is like an import quota is called voluntary export restraint in place of the importing nation deciding to limit the physical quantity of imports into this country the exporting nation decides to limit the extent of exports into this country and exports of that country are imports into this country and let us assume it is once again two units now you must remember this when we say voluntary export restraint these are involuntary and these are mostly imposed by or in fact all the time imposed by the importing nation if the importing nation has the power over the exporting nation it will tell them to limit their extent of exports when they do that several things happen when the exporting nation decides to limit the exports of their country to two units of imports into this country in such a case we are back to the situation we had under quota rents and that is these imports must equal the difference between domestic demand and domestic supply and this is only possible at a price like two dollars per unit at here you can see the demand is four units the supply domestic supply is two units and the imports are two units now because we have voluntary export restraints or exporters on their own have decided to limit the amount of exports into this country though the exporters are willing to sell this product for one dollar because there is a ver which is almost like an import quota now they can sell this to domestic consumers at a price of two dollars so though they are willing to sell it for one dollar when we have free trade now they are willing to sell it for two dollars because of ver now look at this rectangle this one this one dollar extra per unit is being cornered by exporters and how many units are being exported into the country that is the extent of imports of this country which is two units so the area of this rectangle would represent the extra money which is cornered by foreigners or which we call ver rent ver rent now compare this ver rent to the quota rent now when we have they are exactly the same amount when we have an import quota the money accrues to a local business 
in the importing nation. When we have VERs, this VER rent now accrues to foreigners. And who are these foreigners? The exporting nation. So in a way, when you look at this importing country as a whole, as compared to quota rent or tariff revenue, this country has lost the VER rent because of imposition of VERs. And so this is a loss to this importing nation along with the deadweight loss. So deadweight loss we have under tariff revenue, under quota rent. But along with this, the loss to the country is the VER rent as well. So in terms of when you rank different uh, uh, trade restrictive policies, what you find is VERs are the worst possible. Now a quick summary of all that we have learned. From a society's perspective, we know free trade is better than autarky. Then we also know free trade is better than restricted trade, irrespective of what method of what policies we use in order to restrict foreign trade. It could come through tariffs, quotas, or VERs. And the third thing, this comes with some conditions. Restricted trade is better than autarky as long as some conditions are met. We have discussed this for tariff in the previous lecture video. The same rule will apply for quotas. But for VERs, the rule will have to be modified, and that's something you can figure out on your own. The fourth thing you should know is consequences of quota rents and tariff revenue are the same, except for the fact that the quota rents now accrue to businesses who have the permission to import and sell this product, and tariff revenue accrues to the government. But again, whether it is quota rent or tariff revenue, this part stays within the importing nation. And compare that to what we have under VERs. The VER rent is cornered by exporters or foreigners. And in this way, VERs, VERs are worse than import quotas or tariffs. So VERs happen to be the worst possible solution in terms of restricted trade. So this completes this discussion. Thank you for your time.